Hi, Lauren. They are warning folks to take those precautions, especially if you are gathering those big gatherings for the holiday. The leaders also sharing with me that they are now recommending in some of their clinical spaces that people wear masks and in those settings where patients are vulnerable, they are now requiring it. This is all coming as we're seeing those respiratory cases rise and Christmas just stays away. For Jimmy Rodriguez, he plans to keep Christmas low key, catching up on sleep and shows. My family's uh, out in the West Coast, so um, I like to avoid like the holiday travel issues. But Catherine Breeze's family plans to do it big, caravan style. We're all driving down to Jacksonville, Florida to see my grandparents. 10 people making the trip and everyone is doing what it takes to stay safe this sixth season including getting vaccinated. The North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services weekly report revealed emergency department visits for respiratory illnesses are up from just a week ago. If we look even closer, the number of show cases are rising. We're about neck and neck right now with around 600 cases each so far this month, uh, testing positive out of our clinics. For both COVID and flu, Dr. Nicholas Turner is an infectious disease specialist with Duke Health, treating the sickest patients. The vast majority end up being okay and staying at home. There are those select few, of course, um, who end up serious enough to land in the hospital. And then, of course, the really unfortunate few. We've had 22 deaths already. A reminder not to take this illness lightly and why some doctors are concerned about large gatherings. A lot of close contact. So we do expect to see an increase after the holidays. Dr. Ryan Lab is the emergency department medical director at UNC Rex, where respiratory visits jumped from 8% to now 20% of emergency department visits. So if you are sick, you really should be wearing a mask or avoiding the situation. So paying attention to your own symptoms of fever, cough, muscle aches, those are usually signs that you're getting flu or COVID. And while flu numbers are up, a doctors say those uh, flu vaccines are down. They're saying they're seeing fewer people get vaccinated than in years past, saying some people may have vaccine fatigue, but they tell me it is not time to get tired as it relates to those vaccines, especially if it can help protect you from the flu. In Raleigh, Jimmy's Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.